what do you know, it is Rabbit of Scrublet Academy, and we are back in Dido today. The video today was created in response to a comment by a user named Cory asking, could somebody make a video where they go through and tell you all the stat to damage options, what weapons or items they apply to, and the best classes for them? That would be awesome. Having limited friends and a desperate need to fulfill what are determined to be the only parameters for my induction into awesomeness, I eagerly took up the challenge three years later. Do keep in mind that this list is reserved only for items and effects that alter the attributes used for attack damage skills or other effects not normally covered by those attributes. So that being said, I won't be talking about meta magic feats, feats that have a prerequisite attribute but don't actually change the attribute you used prior to acquiring the feat, deity feats, past life bonuses or any other bonuses that give a universal accuracy or damage boost, or effects that boost base attack bonus alone, which counts in this context as an accuracy boost. Any effects I didn't cover here assume they don't fulfill the parameters of this list if they don't actually change the attribute skill or general number you use to perform those actions. So after today, we'll be over the halfway mark. That's bad. Shit, I gotta figure out some more fucking video ideas. Well, by now you probably know how this shit works. We go over a stat and say, hey, what if I really didn't want to enjoy playing Dito, but instead predetermined every statistic to optimize my past life grinding to such a degree that I robbed all the fun out of what should be a, and this is the technical term, fucking game. Well, that leads us to intelligence, the stat I pretend to have in real life by citing shit nobody needs to know in a medium nobody cares about. Seriously, who wants to hear me talk about how much of a little bitch Hector actually was in his fight against Achilles? I bet you're dying to know just how I'd have done Ready Player One if I had millions of dollars. I can tell you this much, nobody's beating the fucking MMO, that's for damn sure. So, you want us to beat an MMO? Essentially. Fuck you! Good segue, you infected leperin pseudo scholar. Intelligence is the ability to think books like about things. Intelligence to damage is the ability to think people to death. Why do you think this video is where I promoted how much of a fucking nerd I am? So like we did with Wisdom, we'll start with the obvious. Harper Agent is a direct parallel to Falconry for its strategic combat enhancements, one granting hit and the other damage. Its Know the Angle Trance is far lower on the tree in Tier 2, meaning you can pick it up and still be able to spend 12 points total in Harper. Intelligence to Damage is therefore an easier realization as far as using universal trees to prop up substandard class and racial enhancement trees. Eldritch Knight, the wizard version, has an interesting ability called Eldritch Accuracy, which affects their hit chances with all weapons, but not their damage. The unique element is that this affects shields as well, giving them a bit more versatility. Mechanic and Swashbuckler, on the other hand, affect damage but not hit chances, with their respective abilities, targeting sites, and different tack. Mechanic's version only affects crossbows and throwing weapons, while Swashbuckler's version requires you to follow the rules of the swashbuckling enhancement. They'd be some interesting builds to bleed, honestly. Unless you're going inquisitive. Somehow nobody can seem to get damage with this tree except for me. Where Favored Soul is the wisdom-based class, Artificer and Alchemist are the intelligence ones. They're basically the same class except one's a fanfiction piece of shit and the other is Artificer. We'll start with the good one. Artificer gets access to Insightful Strikes and Insightful Damage, two spells that grant you the ability to use your Intelligence modifier for everything the Artie does. They're low-hanging fruit and can save you some enhancement points with the right build, but they're mutually exclusive, so you can't have both on at the same time. And now, Alchemist. This fucking disappointment boasts even more opportunities to turn your intelligence into pure gold. Which, to be fair, is their only great ability. Battalion Brew grants intelligence to hit and damage with simple weapons. Don't worry everyone, your Vistani knife fighters are fully locked, loaded, and supported. Did I mention I am always jaded? As a bit of an aside, Vile Chemist gets the ability to add either the dexterity or their intelligence modifier to their bonus to double shot with simple thrown weapon expertise. Holy shit, that's a mouthful. Since this changes how that feat works, and that feat kinda changes how damage works with throwing weapons, it definitely qualifies for this list. Like I did with the Wisdom video, I'm not going to go on a tirade about the items you can use that change hit and damage attributes. The only thing about the Intelligence list, aside from being realistically confined to staves, is that Intelligence has no current options for endgame weapons. The legendary version of Staff of Inner Sight, which hardly functions like its heroic counterpart, only allows Intelligence to affect attack rolls. That can be useful, but probably not something you're going to build your whole character around. I'd say Alchemist is a great place to start the non-damage oriented abilities, but Alchemist is never a great place for anything to start getting interesting. 
These cheesy motherfuckers get the choice of either Insightful Courage, which substitutes intelligence as the modifier to boost their will save throws, or Insightful Fortitude, which uses intelligence for fortitude saving throws. They're mutually exclusive, but I'm getting some serious Paladin OP vibes here. Finally, Insightful Reflexes is a basic feat that allows you to use your intelligence modifier for reflex saves instead of your dexterity modifier. This one is not an Alchemist exclusive feat, but they can pick it up too. Alchemist isn't quite as busted as Divine Grace in this respect, but they're getting there. And that's it. That's all I found for these stats. If you enjoyed this content, show your support in the comments section down below and like and share this thing everywhere people is. If you didn't, then still hit that like button and leave a comment. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.